Hey there, it's Mr. Thompson. Welcome to another video math lesson. Well, we're going to talk about solving equations, as you can see here. And we're going to talk about solving a few different equations with a few little different details. Okay, the first scenario we're going to look at is solving equations that involve brackets. Okay, and um, both, all the scenarios we'll look at here are fairly simple. This one, there's, there's one basic rule. Um, and that is expand the brackets first. Okay. Now I said rule, but um, most of the time this is just a suggestion. Okay. But when you're just starting off with solving linear equations and this algebra stuff, best to sort of um, do these things to make it a little bit easy first. Okay. Um, so let's look at an example. Okay. Here is an equation with brackets. We want to solve for x and find what x is equal to. All right. Um, and we have some brackets, as we can see here. We would like to um, get rid of those brackets, and so we're going to expand the brackets first. Okay? As I said, um, there is another way to do this equation. It's debatable whether it's easier or not, but we're just going to go through this method. Um, and I think, um, you know, if you have trouble with this stuff, this is the easiest way to go. Okay? So, in order to expand the brackets, we multiply the 2 by the x and the 2 by the 3. So we get 2x plus 6 equals 8. The 8 just hangs out, right? Nothing, nothing happened on the right. Expanding the brackets isn't like when we add something to one side where we have to do it to the other side. We're simply taking this and changing it into an equivalent form. This is the same as this. And since that side didn't change, really, this side doesn't need to change either. So we expanded the brackets. Now it's just like a good old-fashioned regular linear equation. We have this 2x plus 6, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. Okay, since we're actually changing one side, now we have to change the other side. Okay, the 6's cancel out, and we just have 2x on the left, and 8 minus 6 is 2. Okay, now we're multiplying the x by 2, so in order to undo that, we're going to divide by 2. So we do that on the right side as well. The 2's cancel out on the left, and we get x equals 1, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, so there's our answer. Now, um, before we circle it, we should really check our work, right? And it's pretty easy to do this in your head, okay? If you have x equals 1, you let this x equal 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8, okay? Easy, right? Now, um, we did that in our heads, but um, if you're taking a test and the instructions say to check your work, then you'd better show your checking, so you would write that out. Uh, I'm going to skip that for now for the sake of YouTube time. Okay, another example, all right? 3x plus 2 plus 4x equals 20, okay? And now this one, you're much better off to expand the brackets first. Um, even though, as it says, it's a suggestion, this one, yeah, it's, it's definitely best to expand the brackets first. So we'll do that. We're going to do 3 times x and 3 times 2. So we get 3x plus 6, all right? That's from our distribution, plus 4x equals 20. Again, Nothing happens on the right side yet. Nothing happened with the 4x either. It's just along for the ride. But now we can see that the 3x and the 4x uh, are like terms, and we're combi going to combine that into a single term, 7x. So we get 7x plus 6 equals 20. That 20 is bored so far. But guess what? Now something's going to happen with it because we're going to subtract the 6 from both sides. Those 6s on the left disappear, and we get 7x equals 14. Now, to get rid of the 7 from that left side, we will divide by 7, both sides, and the 7's cancel, and we get x equals 2. Again, checking your work is easy, okay? Chuck, pluck the, the plug the 2 in here, okay? 2 plus 2 is 4, and 3 times 4 is 12, so here we have 12. This would be 4 times 2, so that's 8, and 12 plus 8 is 20, okay? So, good to go. All right? Now, um, one more um, scenario that is really basically um, the same as the previous scenario. It's just got brackets in it, but um, this time we've, we've got what I kind of like to call imaginary brackets in fractions, okay? Um, <clears throat> basically, you'll have an equation like this, okay? x plus 5 over 2 equals 7, okay? Pretty, pretty standard. You'll see this a fair bit. Um, now, you, a lot of people you try to use bod mass to do this, but they do it incorrectly. They say, well, we're going to do bod mass backwards to solve, so we'll do addition subtraction first. Here's a plus 5, so I, sub I should subtract 5 from both sides. 
right? Wrong, okay? Because um, what we have here is when you have a fraction like this with you know, addition on the top, which is a bit funky maybe if you're not used to that, but um, you'll see that more and more. And then, you know, something else on the bottom. What we really have is imaginary brackets, okay? Hence the, um, the title here. X, the, plus, the x plus 5 is in brackets. Well, brackets in bod mass comes last, right? So um, what we need to do is actually get rid of this 2 first. We can, um, it's being, this, this whole thing, this whole thing is being divided by 2. So what we can do is I'll rewrite this, okay? Uh, with the brackets in there, um, and since it's being divided by 2, we're going to multiply by 2, and then we'll multiply the other side by 2 as well, okay? The 2's cancel out on the left, and we're just left with x plus 5 on the left, with that, whatever was in the top there. Since it's not a, there's nothing on the bottom, we don't need to um, write it as a fraction anymore. And on the right, we have 14. 7 times 2 is 14, okay? Now, nice and easy. x plus 5 is 14. You can probably do that in your head, but we just subtract 5 from both sides, Fives cancel out, and we get x equals 9. 14 minus 5 is 9. Still really easy to check in your head, right? If we plug in a 9 right here, 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So good to go. All right? Simple. All right? Now, uh, one more little scenario here for us. Uh, for when there are pronumerals or variables on both sides of an equation, okay? Um, and the little rule that we're going to do here, quite simple, okay? The rule to follow, and this is the case, is get all those pronumerals on one side, the way we like it, okay? So here's an example. 5x minus 2 equals 3x uh, minus 4, right? We have x's on the left, and we have x's on the right. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Well, we want to get them all on one side, okay? So you can either subtract 5x from both sides, or subtract 3x from both sides. Now, the good news is, no matter which way you do this, you can get the problem right, okay? It's, uh, there's a common misconception in maths, uh, and that is that there's only ever one way to do it. But that's not true. There's often lots of ways to do it. Um, now, let's look for a second at subtracting 5x. You can do this, but what happens is these, x, these 5x's go away, they cancel out, and we get 3x minus 5x. The problem with that is we're going to end up with negative x's. Now, that's not the end of the world, but it's just not the best thing. We want to have positive x's, so we're not going to do negative 5x. We're going to get rid of that, and we're going to have negative 3x, okay? Um, and we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. What happens then is those 3x's on the right go away, and we'll have 5x minus 3x, which is 2x, okay? Now, everything else kind of sticks around, the minus 2 and the minus 4. But what we can do is add 2 to both sides, okay? The 2's on the left cancel out, and on the left we're, we uh, have just have a 2x remaining, and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, okay? Finally, we um, divide by 2, and the 2's cancel out, and we get x equals negative 1, okay? Still easy to check. Plug in the negative 1, you get negative 5. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. And then uh, if you plug in the negative 1 here, you get negative 3. Negative 3 minus 4, also negative 7. So good to go. All right? And that's all there is to it. So you should have lots of tools now to solve all kinds of different linear equations. Um, and uh, we'll see you around.